Let us pray. Spirit of grace, spirit of wisdom, we acknowledge and welcome your presence with us today. We gather to celebrate the accomplishments of these graduates and of this institution. May this convocation ceremony give us renewed hope, courage, and energy. Lead us always, Divine One, on the journeys of justice. Guide us on the pathways of peace. Renew us by the wellsprings of grace, today, tonight, and forever. Amen. Madam Chancellor, Madam Justice, honorary degree recipients, past and present, representatives of sister institutions, honored guests, colleagues, graduates, family and friends. Good morning. I'm delighted to welcome you to Mount St. Vincent University's Spring Convocation. Today we celebrate the accomplishments of approximately 500 graduates. You've come a long way and worked hard to be here, and it is with great pride that all of us at Mount St. Vincent extend our congratulations to you the graduating class of 2001. I ask you to join me in a round of applause for our graduates. Now, of course, if it was just the graduates who were here, the auditorium would not be as full because of course we look out and it's always a great pleasure to see all the family and friends who have come to share this special day with our graduates. Because we know, and I think the graduates know, that they probably wouldn't be here if it was not for all the support that they have received along the way. So graduates, why don't you join me in acknowledging the presence of your family and friends. There's one other group of people I particularly want to recognize. I know, graduates, that you would want to express appreciation to the faculty members who have taught and advised you during your course of studies. We feel very fortunate at Mount St. Vincent to have such a dedicated group of faculty, each of whom has challenged you, encouraged you to develop your own intellectual potential why don't again you join me in a round of applause for our faculty. <laughs> Graduates, as you become alumni and ambassadors of Mount St. Vincent, I want to take this opportunity to just share with you a few of the milestones in our history as an institution that we celebrate today. The first diploma in tourism and hospitality management will be awarded today, as well as the first master's degree in applied human nutrition. We are also celebrating 20 years of public relations graduates. And as one of our board members commented to me this morning, it is indeed 20 years since she, as a member of that first graduating class, received her degree in this very auditorium. 
I urge all of you who are graduating in public relations to join your fellow alumni for a celebration to be organized on September 21st, so put it in your diary now. At Mount St. Vincent, we strive to be an inclusive community so that each student who attends feels welcome and supported. At the same time, our heritage and our commitment is to be leaders in innovative education for women. And so, we make sure in our curriculum and in our scheduling and in our support services that the needs and perspectives of women as well as men are reflected. We also have many faculty whose research focuses on gender and social justice issues. And this year we also celebrate the 25th year of Atlantis, a women's studies journal, which is a major outlet for scholarship in women's studies for both Canadian and international scholars, which Mount St. Vincent has had the honor to publish for the majority of those 25 years. We continue to introduce innovative programs, including an arts degree with a cooperative education component, history and information technology being our first um, foray into that area. We're introducing a Bachelor of Cultural Studies, an interdisciplinary arts degree in philosophy and religious studies, and a master's degree in education for teaching English as a second language offered in association with one of our sister universities. Maintaining and enhancing the Mount's commitment to excellence in teaching, research, and scholarship through the programs I've mentioned and the scholarly work that takes place rests with our faculty who individually and collectively advance the university's scholarly mission and build our reputation. At the ceremony this afternoon, we will single out for special recognition one outstanding teacher, one outstanding researcher, and give out our first instructional leadership award to a third faculty member. These three individuals exemplify a commitment held by many more at the Mount. For we recognize that each of us forms part of a community of scholars, that generations of scholars have built the university since its founding as an institution in 1873 by the Sisters of Charity, and that current faculty members continue that building process. Also today, we welcome to our Mount family an exceptional woman who has distinguished herself in her life and career and whose presence here enriches Mount St. Vincent University and encourages our graduates. Later in the program, we will recognize the Honorable Madam Justice Louise Arbour. I also want to take a moment to acknowledge those who make this event possible. It takes a lot of work, as you can imagine, on the part of many people to put on a convocation, from public affairs to physical plant. I recognize with appreciation all that work and particularly pay tribute to our registrar, Lynn Terrio, who along with her staff has made it possible for all the graduates to be here today by checking records, checking all your courses were in place, following up missing grades, and, and so on. And I also want to recognize our convocation coordinator, Dr. Rosemary Sampson, for whom today will be the, the last time that she um, organizes our, our convocations, which she has been doing since at least 1991. I particularly want to thank Rosemary and her staff also. <laughs> Graduates, this is, I don't need to tell you, a very important day in your lives. 
I know you'll look back on today with joy, and that's what you'll probably remember. You won't remember the nervousness that you might be feeling. But I know it's also only one of many successes that you can look forward to, because here at the Mount, you've laid a great foundation on which you'll build in the years ahead. Convocation is more than the culmination of years of study. I know that's how it seems today, but it's also a beginning because you will see that your certificate, your diploma, your degree will open many new doors. It will allow you to grow in your life and your career. And one of my great axioms is we don't always know where life's path will lead us but we know along the way there will be many doors of opportunity. Even if you don't plan out your whole life, knowing which doors of opportunity to walk through is something for which I know you are very well prepared. Because you graduate today with a great deal more than your formal credential. I know you've attained many personal goals, as well as a close community of friends and colleagues, one of the very real benefits of having attended Mount St. Vincent, where we put a premium on offering a personalized educational environment, one in which you can get to know your professors and your fellow students. I always take a moment in my comments to convocation to recognize some members of the Mount community who are graduating today and also to recognize some family connections because it is those connections that help make us a community. Todd Armstrong, a part-time faculty member in our Business Administration and Tourism Department is receiving his Bachelor of Education degree. And Kristen Casey, who receives her Bachelor's degree in Child and Youth Study is the daughter of Barbara Casey from our Information Technology Department. As well, we have a husband and wife team graduating today. Jay and Jennifer Thompson will both be receiving their Master of Education degrees. I also want to note and recognize a distinguished retiring faculty member on whom the Senate has conferred the status of Professor Emeritus, Dr. Pierre Paye of the Philosophy Department, who has served this university and the broader academic community with dedication and distinction for 32 years. As well, Dr. Virginia Cronin of the Psychology Department and Dr. Doreen Evenden of the History Department will be retiring at the end of June, and we wish them all the best. In conclusion, graduates, I urge you to explore possibilities make connections, expand boundaries. As alumni, you remain members of the Mount community, and we look forward to following your careers, learning of your successes, and seeing you at reunions and alumni gatherings. The love of learning that you've developed at the Mount and the skills and abilities that you have honed here have set you on a lifetime's journey. With the whole world at your fingertips, who knows just how far you will go. But do have a wonderful trip in any event. Stay in touch with new developments here at the Mount. Don't forget to check out our website at www.msvu.ca and email us about what you're doing. Congratulations and all the best. Madam Chancellor, Madam President and Vice Chancellor, Minister Purvis, honored guests, family, friends, faculty, fellow students. We did it. 
we have reached the goal of graduating. In order to achieve this goal, we had to face many changes and challenges during our time at the Mount. I would like to remind you of the ones that we encountered. We had to adapt to a new location and unfamiliar faces. Classrooms were filled with young students and mature students. Manus Lounge became the student lounge, so it was difficult for some mature students to find people who could relate to their situation. One of the residents became co-ed. There were more males seen on campus, and this change brought smiles to many young females, and some of the older ones, too. The student newspaper, Picaro, went through some modifications. It kept students informed of university events and issues at the Mount until the paper itself became an issue. It was a challenge to write out our first paper, midterm, and exam. Multiple choices had been a learning experience. It is evident that the university understood our dilemma and provided several courses that would help us to do the different tasks. Courses such as writing skills, strategies on doing multiple choice tests and time management were offered, but they overlooked the need for our course on money management. Managing money was the biggest challenge we faced. It did not help when tuitions went up and professors decided to go with a newer edition that cost twice as much as the older edition. Food, clothing, and other essentials were expensive. We bought parking passes for spaces that were invisible, <laughs> available only to the watchful eye of Mount Security. It was a challenge for us to decide what to do with our last loony. Should we put it on our photocopy card or buy a Tim Horton coffee? That decision was made easier when the university had facilitated a Tim Horton outlet in the Seton Academic Center. Now we could come to class with a Tim Horton coffee and discuss the article that we did not photocopy or read. <laughs> it was a challenge to do practicum, co-op work, and group projects while we maintained our valuable study time on the other courses, family, and social life. We were informed that these experiences at the Mount would prepare us for the future. Tomorrow, as we begin that future, we will face new changes and challenges in our lives. There will be an adjustment in our routine. We will not be struggling to get to the 8.30 class but instead we'll be trying to get to work for 8 a.m. It will be a challenge to find a job, a new place to live, and deal with all the financial stress of paying off student loans. We will fail, succeed, cry, and rejoice, but we will not give up because we did not give up in the past. We learned that the word can't is not in the words change and challenge, but the word can is. We have to remind ourselves of what we did in the past and how we persevered and achieved our goals. We owe a great deal of gratitude to our family, friends, professors, and the Lord for helping us to find the strength, courage, and determination to finish the courses that we needed to graduate. We are here today because of what we did in the past, and we will go on in the future with memories of yesterday.
Madam Vice Chancellor and President, it is my privilege to present to you the candidates for the collegiate honors of graduation. I attest that they have successfully completed the required courses of study, and I ask that Fiona Lynn Appleby be admitted to the Certificate in uh, Community Residential Services. Madam Vice Chancellor and Pre President, the Certificate of Gerontology on Wanda Blackburn. <laughs> Linda Margaret Keerley. Sandra C. Peterson, the recipient of the McGrath Baird Award in Gerontology as well. Tracy Sarsfield Turner. Madam Chancellor. It is my privilege to present to you the candidates for the collegiate honors of graduation. I attest that they have successfully completed the required courses of study, and I ask that they be admitted to the baccalaureate degree. Mount St. Vincent University confers the degree of Bachelor of Applied Arts, Child and Youth Study on Rhonda Bolt. On behalf of the Senate of Mount St. Vincent University, I admit you to the degree of Bachelor of Applied Arts, Child and Youth Study, with all the rights and privileges pertaining thereto. Congratulations. Giselle A. Boudreaux. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Applied Arts, Child and Youth Study. Congratulations, Giselle. Mireille M. Boudreaux. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Applied Arts, Child and Youth Study. Congratulations. Julie Ann Buffett. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Applied Arts, Child and Youth Study. Congratulations. Kristen Casey. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Applied Arts, Child and Youth Study. Congratulations, Kristen. Amy D. Ettinger. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Applied Arts, Child and Youth Study. Congratulations. Rachel Kathy Hibbs. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Applied Arts, Child and Youth Study. Congratulations. Rachel. Andrea C. Hiltz. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Applied Arts, Child and Youth Study. Congratulations, Andrew. Suzanne Hines. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Applied Arts, Child and Youth Study. Congratulations. Amanda Jeffrey. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Applied Arts, Child and Youth Study. Congratulations, Amanda. Helen Lane Kirsted. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Applied Arts, Child and Youth Study. Congratulations, Helen. Deanne Kosick. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Applied Arts, Child and Youth Study. Congratulations. Charlene D. MacDonald. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Applied Arts, Child and Youth Study. Congratulations, Shirley. Sherry A. McLean, with distinction and highest aggregate. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Applied Arts, Child and Youth Study. Congratulations, Sherry. Lisa M. McNeil. 
I confer the degree of Bachelor of Applied Arts, Child and Youth Study. Congratulations. Lisa. Margaret E. McNeil. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Applied Arts, Child and Youth Study. Rebecca Mosher. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Applied Arts, Child and Youth Study. Congratulations. Kelly L. Murphy. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Applied Arts, Child and Youth Study. Congratulations, Kelly. Jody D. Myers. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Applied Arts, Child and Youth Study. Congratulations, Judy. Amy Norman. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Applied Arts, Child and Youth Study. Congratulations. Colette S. Poirier with distinction. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Applied Arts, Child and Youth Study. Congratulations, Colette. Catherine E. Ramos with distinction. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Applied Arts, Child and Youth Study. Congratulations. Brandy Raymond. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Applied Arts, Child and Youth Study. Congratulations. Jill A. Ripley. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Applied Arts, Child and Youth Study. Congratulations, Jill. Elizabeth Wagner. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Applied Arts, Child and Youth Study. Congratulations, Elizabeth. Jennifer H. Welton. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Applied Arts, Child and Youth Study. Congratulations. Kelly D. White. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Applied Arts, Child and Youth Study. Congratulations, Kelly. Madam Chancellor, the degree of Bachelor of Human Ecology on Carol Clayton with distinction, and she's the co-recipient of the Student and Community Service Award in Family Studies and Gerontology. On behalf of the Senate of Mount St. Vincent University, I admit you to the degree of Bachelor of Human Ecology with all the rights and privileges pertaining thereto. Congratulations. Nicole Halverson. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Human Ecology. Congratulations. Catherine McAllister. Catherine also receives a certificate in business today. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Human Ecology. Congratulations, Catherine. Marie Christine Parent with distinction. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Human Ecology. Congratulations. Shauna Lee D. Vincent with distinction and highest aggregate. Shauna Lee is also the co recipient of the Student and Community Service Award in Family Studies and Gerontology. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Human Ecology. Shana. Madam Chancellor, the degree of Bachelor of Education on Louise Albert. On behalf of the Senate of Mount St. Vincent University, I admit you to the degree of Bachelor of Education with all the rights and privileges pertaining thereto. Congratulations, Louise. Daniel Allen. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Education. Congratulations, Daniel. Rebecca Ames. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Education. Congratulations, Rebecca. Martha M. Anthony. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Education. Congratulations, Martha. Patricia A. Arab. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Education. Congratulations, Patricia. Trina E. Atkinson. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Education. Congratulations, Trina. Sharon M. Baker. 
I confer the degree of Bachelor of Education. Ava Batiz. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Education. Congratulations, Ava. Michael Bennett. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Education. Congratulations, Michael. Sheila Bennett Tullock. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Education. Congratulations, Sheila. Jean-Marc Boudreau. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Education. Congratulations, Jean-Marc. Susie Breton, co-recipient of the Department of Education's Award for Elementary Education. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Education. Congratulations, Susie. Janelle Broderick. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Education. Jason Edward Brown. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Education. Congratulations, Jason. Tracy L. Brown. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Education. Sean Edward Brunt. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Education. Shauna L. Kalman. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Education. Congratulations, Shauna. Shelley L. Cameron. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Education. Congratulations. Karen Carrier. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Education. Congratulations. Jennifer Lynn Sherlock. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Education. Congratulations. Kelly Ann Clark. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Education. Cynthia Como. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Education. Congratulations, Cynthia. Patty Cook Warner. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Education. Congratulations, Patty. Jennifer A. Cookson. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Education. Congratulations. Rachel Cool. Rachel is also the co-recipient of the Michael and Madeline Merrigan Award. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Education. Congratulations, Rachel. Jonathan D. Cox. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Education. Congratulations. Courtney Ann Crane. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Education. Congratulations, Courtney. Osama A. Darwish. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Education. Congratulations, Osama. Deborah L. Day. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Education. Congratulations. Lisa Devereaux. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Education. Congratulations, Lisa. Michelle Doe. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Education. Congratulations, Michelle. Erin Donahue. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Education. Louisa A. Donlan. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Education. Congratulations, Louisa. Lori Drover. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Education. Brian Eisner. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Education. Congratulations. Margot Ells. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Education. Congratulations, Mark. Peter Farrell. Jarrett. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Education. Congratulations, Peter. Jarrett Feeney. 
I confer the degree of Bachelor of Education. Congratulations, Lee Ann Gowland Amaral. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Education. Congratulations, Lee Ann. Sinba M. Gray. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Education. Deanna F. Hawkins Scott. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Education. Congratulations. Tanya M. Hudson. <laughs> I confer the degree of Bachelor of Education. Congratulations. Heather Johnson. <laughs> I confer the degree of Bachelor of Education. Congratulations. Marie Matilda Jones. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Education. Congratulations. Jurej. Rosetta Jurej. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Education. Congratulations, Rosetta. Tiblet Berhano Kidanu. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Education. Congratulations. Leah Jean Knowles. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Education. Congratulations, Leah. Tara Marie Ada Latimer. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Education. Congratulations, Tara. Terrence J. Leahy. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Education. Melanie Little. Melanie is the co-recipient of the Michael and Ma Madeline Merrigan Award. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Education. Elaine Littlejohn. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Education. Congratulations. Lisa. Joanne L. Lonis. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Education. Jane Lowe. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Education. Congratulations. Christy L. Lines. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Education. Congratulations, Christy. Shoshana M. McKinnon. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Education. Congratulations, Shoshana. S Susan J. McLean. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Education. Congratulations. Dana McLeod. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Education. Congratulations. Dana. Shane McLeod. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Education. Congratulations, Shane. Heather McPhee. <laughs> I confer the degree of Bachelor of Education. Congratulations, Heather. Deidre McPherson. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Education. Congratulations, Deidre. <laughs> You're welcome. Sonia Marfels, co-recipient of the Department of Education Award for Secondary Education. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Education. Congratulations, sir. Adam G. Marriott. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Education. Congratulations, Adam. Jeremy W. Marsh. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Education. Congratulations, Jeremy. Jennifer L. Mathers. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Education. Congratulations, Jennifer. Jennifer J. McMullen. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Education. Congratulations, Jennifer. Scott A. Miller. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Education. Congratulations, Scott. John H. Moshet. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Education. Congratulations, John. Anna May Muse. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Education. Congratulations. Julie Ann Bonnie Nogler. 
I confer the degree of Bachelor of Education. Congratulations to you. Jessica Neely. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Education. Congratulations, Jessica. Mary Osborne. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Education. Congratulations, Mary. Thank you, Mary. Marla J. Pittman. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Education. Congratulations, Marla. Janet A. Porter. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Education. Congratulations. Jason N. A. Ralph. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Education. Congratulations, Jason. Monica M. Reese. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Education. Congratulations, Monica. Melissa Reed. I confer the degree of Rattalic. Bachelor of Education. Congratulations, Melissa. Michael Ritalik. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Education. Congratulations, Michael. Wendy G. Ritzy. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Education. Congratulations. Jill Wendy. D. Robertson. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Education. Congratulations, Jill. Amy Ross. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Education. Go, Amy. Congratulations. Leslie R. Sherman. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Education. Congratulations, Leslie. Amy Smith. Amy is also the co-recipient of the Department of Education Award for Secondary Education. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Education. Congratulations, Amy. Jennifer E. Steele. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Education. Congratulations. Karen Strangemore. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Education. Congratulations. Jennifer Surrett. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Education. Congratulations. Lise Danielle Terrio. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Education. Jennifer L. Timmons. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Education. Lindsay C. Turbot. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Education. Cassandra M. Wallasek. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Education. Congratulations, Cassandra. Jacqueline H. Wellner. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Education. Congratulations, Jacqueline. Andrea Wynott. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Education. Kate Williams. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Education. Congratulations, Kate. Willies. Andrew Willies. And I confer the degree Mandai. of Bachelor of Education. Mandai C. Wiswell. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Education. Kathy Woods. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Education. Congratulations, Kathy. Sarah Young. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Education. Congratulations, Sarah. Madam Chancellor, the degree of Bachelor of Education Visual Arts Specialist in association with the Nova Scotia College of Art and Design on Kimberly Ann R. Kane. On behalf of the Senate of Mount St. Vincent University, I admit you to the degree of Bachelor of Education Visual Arts Specialist in association with Nova Scotia College of Art and Design with all the rights and privileges pertaining thereto. Congratulations, Kimberly. 
Andrew W. Edgar Gradstein. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Education Visual Art Specialist in association with Nova Scotia College of Art and Design. Congratulations, Andrew. Magda Ismail. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Education Visual Art Specialist in association with Nova Scotia College of Art and Design. Congratulations, Magda. Madam Chancellor. These two young women here somehow didn't get in the BED line, so we have to. <laughs> and they really do want the degree, right? Okay. So it's Sarah Y. Slipfield. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Education. Congratulations, Sarah. <laughs> Catherine Whitman. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Education. Congratulations, Catherine. Now, Madam Chancellor, we're back to visual arts specialist. Okay. We don't want the wrong degree, right? Yolanda J. Whalen. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Education, visual arts specialist in association with Nova Scotia College of Art and Design. Congratulations, Yolanda. Alice Laura Warden. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Education, Visual Arts Specialist in association with Nova Scotia College of Art and Design. Congratulations. Madam Chancellor, the degree of Bachelor of Education in association with Nova Scotia Teachers College on Debbie Ann Hislet. On behalf of the Senate of Mount St. Vincent University, I admit you to the degree of Bachelor of Education in association with Nova Scotia Teachers College with all the rights and privileges pertaining thereto. Congratulations. Madam Chancellor, it is my privilege to present to you the candidates for graduate honors. I attest that they have successfully completed the required courses of study, and I ask that they be admitted to the master's degree. Mount St. Vincent University confers the degree of Master of Education on David Best. On behalf of the Senate of Mount St. Vincent University, I admit you to the degree of Master of Education with all the rights and privileges pertaining thereto. Congratulations, David. Kelly Boyd. I confer the degree of Master of Education Peter Bouchel. I confer the degree of Master of Education. Congratulations, Peter. Agnes Marie Cal. I confer the degree of Master of Education. Congratulations, Agnes. Mary Chipman. I confer the degree of Master of Education. Congratulations, Mary. Veronica Chipman. I confer the degree of Master of Education. Congratulations, Veronica. Sobia El Masri. <laughs> I confer the degree of Master of Education. Congratulations, Sobia. Carmen Flores. I confer the degree of Master of Education. Congratulations, Carmen. Rebecca Franklin. I confer the degree of Master of Education. Congratulations, Rebecca. E. Jane Gorley. I confer the degree of Master of Education. Congratulations, Jane. Claire M. Greenan. I confer the degree of Master of Education. Congratulations, Claire. Wanda A. Heading. I confer the degree of Master of Education. Congratulations. Shelley D. Hersey. I confer the degree of Master of Education. Congratulations, Shelley. Candace Hobbs. I confer the degree of Master of Education. Congratulations, Kelly. Nancy K. James. 
I confer the degree of Master of Education. Beverly Densmore Johnstone. I confer the degree of Master of Education. Congratulations, Beverly. Beverly Justin Muldoon. I confer the degree of Master of Education. Congratulations, Beverly. Ronald A. Laffin. I confer the degree of Master of Education. Congratulations. Trevor I. Lawrence. I confer the degree of Master of Education. Congratulations, Trevor. Velma LeBlanc Dunn. I confer the degree of Master of Education. Congratulations, Velma. Andrea MacDonald. I confer the degree of Master of Education. Congratulations, Andrea. Eleanor J. MacDonald. I confer the degree of Master of Education. Jody Catherine Ruth McIlreath. I confer the degree of Master of Education. Congratulations, Jody. Jacqueline McIntosh. I confer the degree of Master of Education. Congratulations, Jody. Robert F. McMillan. I confer the degree of Master of Education. Congratulations, Jody. Helen S. Male. I confer the degree of Master of Education. Congratulations, Helen. Mary Ellen McCann. I confer the degree of Master of Education. Congratulations, Joan T. McGrath. I confer the degree of Master of Education. Congratulations, Joan. Brenda McHetty. I confer the degree of Master of Education. Congratulations, Brenda. Shirley Nepean. I confer the degree of Master of Education. Congratulations, Shirley. Glenda M. Parsons. I confer the degree of Master of Education. Congratulations, Glenda. Jeanette M. Paul Marr. I confer the degree of Master of Education. Congratulations, Jeanette. Jill Provo. Jill also receives the Master of Human Ecology degree today. I confer the degree of Master of Education. And Master, and master of Human Ecology. Congratulations, Jill. Nancy L. Richards. I confer the degree of Master of Education. Congratulations, Nancy. May Yi Rideout. I confer the degree of Master of Education. Congratulations, Nancy. Sherry Lee Ridgewell. I confer the degree of Master of Education. Congratulations, Sherry. Elizabeth Russell. I confer the degree of Master of Education. Congratulations, Elizabeth. Karen Seguin. I confer the degree of Master of Education. Congratulations. Christopher W. Sutton. I confer the degree of Master of Education. J. E. Thompson. I confer the degree of Master of Education. Jennifer A. Thompson. I confer the degree of Master of Education. Marilyn S. Wills. <laughs> you know them? I confer the degree of Master of Education. Congratulations. Donna L. Gillespie. Excuse me. Madam uh, Chancellor, the Master of Arts and Education on Donna L. Gillespie. On behalf of the Senate of Mount St. Vincent University, I admit you to the degree of Master of Arts in Education with all the rights and privileges pertaining thereto. Congratulations. John Godin. I confer the degree of Master of Arts in Education. Congratulations, John. 
Madam Chancellor, the degree of, of Research Master of Arts on Candace M. Bernard. On behalf of the Senate of Mount St. Vincent University, I admit you to the degree of, Ma of Research Master of Arts with all the rights and privileges pertaining thereto. Congratulations, Candace. Brenda Cormier. I confer the degree of Research Master of Arts. Congratulations, Brenda. Carolyn I. Van Gerp. I confer the degree of Research Master of Arts. Mm, congratulations. Perseverance. Madam Chancellor, the degree of Master of Human Ecology on James A. Baltus. On behalf of the Senate of Mount St. Vincent University, I admit you to the degree of Master of Human Ecology with all the rights and privileges pertaining thereto. Congratulations, James. Madam Chancellor, in addition, I ask that you will confer the appropriate degrees on all those presented to the University Senate and who are not here present. I confer degrees in absentia on those persons so designated by the Dean. Okay, now for some prizes. The Senate Awards of Distinction. These engraved pewter awards presented by the Senate of Mount St. Vincent University are given in recognition of superior academic achievement to each student who graduates with distinction and with highest aggregate in undergraduate diploma and degree programs. The Bachelor of Education and the Master Awards are presented upon recommendation of the department. This year's recipients are Sherry Alice McLean, Bachelor of Applied Arts, Child and Youth Study. <laughs> Sherry, who originally came from Cape Breton, has a quiet and determined style that has resulted in academic, <laughs> you have to listen to all of nice things. In academic success, both in her practicum and in her academic work. At the conclusion of her practicum with a group of emotionally troubled children and youth, she remarked, what was really important to me was to be able to interact with these children and adolescents. I really found out they're kids first. She plans to continue her education by enrolling in a teacher education program. There are some fortunate children out there who will benefit from her compassion and expertise. And I think Sherry would like to give a special nod of recognition to her parents, who obviously were able to communicate and imbue their daughter with such compassion. Congratulations. <laughs> Shauna Lee Vincent, Bachelor of Human Ecology. Shauna Lee, who comes from Upper Tantalan, graduates today with a human ecology degree, majoring in family studies. She's an energetic and enthusiastic young woman who was instrumental in launching the Family Studies and Gerontology Studies Society in her role as president. Shauna Lee has demonstrated her capacity for initiative and leadership, qualities also visible in her academic work. Her practicum with the Student Support Center at Halifax West High School was particularly innovative. Despite her busy schedule with the society and other community activities, she has continually maintained high academic standing. Congratulations, Shauna Lee. <laughs> Mandai Wiswell. Mandai graduated with a Bachelor of Education specializing in elementary education. 
Throughout her two-year BED program, she models the in initiative, commitment, thorough planning, and mature professionalism that characterize the best in teaching. She combines superior academic work with highly effective practica in which she was able to nurture the social, emotional, and academic needs of her students. One cooperating teacher wrote, any students who have her for their teacher will be fortunate indeed. Mandai has accepted a teaching position for the fall at the Halifax Independent Elementary School. Congratulations. <laughs> the Bachelor of Education Secondary on Jarrett Feeney. Jared, who comes from Hubley, specialized in social studies and English in the BED secondary program and won both high praise from both faculty and his cooperating teachers for his energy, enthusiasm, and dedication to teaching. A gifted athlete and musician, Jared excelled at combining high standards for his students with warmth, compassion, support to help them meet those standards. One teacher remarked on his thorough preparation and attention to organization and added, he creates a classroom that is welcoming and supports learning. Congratulations, Jim. <laughs> a Senate Medal in Absentia is given to Heidi Fuller for the Bachelor of Education Visual Arts Specialist. For the Master of Education Curriculum Studies on Shelley Hersey. <laughs> Shelley continues her outstanding academic record. In 1988, she was awarded St. Mary's University Gold Medal for the highest standing in the BED program. Six years later, she completes her MED in administration with a perfect average. That was another degree, not from here. Now Shelley adds an MED in curriculum studies, her second master's. Shelley has extensive teaching experience in junior high schools and she is program coordinator for the Dartmouth Literacy Network. This combination of theory and practice that she has combined in her work equips her to make a very substantial contribution to education in the future. Congratulations, Shelley. Jody McIlreath, MED Educational Psychology. <laughs> Jody graduated from St. Mary's Summa Cum Laude in 1992. She teaches at Leslie Thomas Junior High School in Lower Sackville. She is a graduate of the Nova Scotia Teachers College and was consi had consistently high standard there. She has been teaching French immersion for the past five years, math and science at the junior high school level. Jody has also served on many committees and is an active volunteer. She is a teacher cooperated with Arts Infusion Initiative for Students and is an assistant editor for the Atlantic Can Canada Aviation Museum newsletter and website. Jody is also involved in school activities as yearbook advisor and editor, science fair coordinator, school improvement plan committee, and staff advisor for the track team. A very busy woman. Congratulations. <laughs> MED Elementary Education, Veronica Chipman. Veronica has taught elementary school at Sacred Heart School for the past 10 years. Veronica decided to go back to school after raising two sons, David and Andrew, and after graduation she tried her wings in grades three, four, and then six at Sacred Heart. Building excitement and enthusiasm into her classes is always apparent. Her conscientious work ethic is contagious in her classes. As well, we hear Veronica has the gift of song and music. Veronica speaks her mind in class, her teachers say. She is creative, 
thoughtful thinker, and when she relates events and feelings she has experienced, she profoundly affects those listening. Congratulations. <laughs> the MED Literacy Education, May E. Ye Rideout. May teaches at Lancaster School for the Dufferin Peel Separate School Board in Ontario, where she creates a non threatening and supportive environment for her ESL students. May brings energy, enthusiasm, a remarkable sensitivity, and a sparkling intelligence to her work and life. At school, she is a school council teacher, choir director, and team leader. She pursued her studies with a high degree of professionalism and curiosity. May traveled from Ontario two years ago to begin her graduate studies at the Mount with a writing retreat on the Fundy Shore, and not only impressed her colleagues with her fine writing, but welcomed the chance to be screeched in by her Newfoundland colleagues. Congratulations. Congratulations, May. The Masters of Arts Research Candice Bernard. <laughs> Candice holds a Bachelor of Social Work and a Master of Social Work from the Maritime School of Social Work at Dalhousie. She is a social worker with the Nova Scotia Department of Community Services. She has previously worked for the Black Education Association as well as the Association of Black Social Workers. She remains actively involved in ABSW as a volunteer. Candace has also worked as a post-adoption worker and currently works as part of the Children and Care Unit for Community Services, providing services to children who are in the permanent care of the Minister of Community Services. Her research interests are in the area of race, class, and gender, and her thesis under the direction of Dr. Bly Frank examined the impact of the intersection of race, class, and gender on the educational experience of African families and child welfare and mothering. Candace plans to pursue a PhD. She most recently completed an extensive review of the literature on custody and access issues relating to black and biracial youth for the African Canadian Legal Clinic in Toronto. This document will be used in a Supreme Court case involving custody of a biracial child in Vancouver. Candace has published her works individually and in joint publications with her mother, Dr. Wanda Thomas Bernard, the incoming director of the Maritime School of Social Work. Congratulations. <laughs> the Masters of Human Ecology, Jill Provo. Jill Provo graduated to get today with a Master's in Human Ecology degree and a Master's in Education degree. She has completed both of these degrees within two years, which speaks to her boundless energy, enthusiasm for learning, and I might add time management. Faculty and fellow students have been impressed by her positive attitude, her drive to succeed, and her capacity to excel in her studies while also parenting three children under the age of four. <laughs> The youngest of these children was born during Jill's time at the Mount and while an infant, participated very cooperatively in some of her classes. <laughs> Faculty are very proud of Jill's accomplishments and wish her well in all future endeavors. Congratulations. A medal in absentia is given to Tanya Bran Barrett for the Masters of Adult Education. The Valedictorian Prize. This provides all valedictorians with a lasting memento of their achievement and contribution to the graduating class. To be chosen valedictorian, the student must have maintained a strong academic record 
must have been actively involved in a number of extracurricular activities, either on campus or in the community, must have been nominated as a fitting spokesperson for the graduating class by their peers and their faculty, and, and then is reviewed by a Senate Committee on Academic Policy and Planning. I am pleased to present to you Helen Kirsted for the Valedictorian Award. <laughs> Helen, the mother of two, and I, had been out of school for 20 years, and she started at the mountain. I don't think she minds my saying she came to the mount at the age of 42. But she quickly established an easy rapport with both her professors and her classmates. Helen also worked as a substitute child care worker at the Child Study Center on campus. She has worked with children for 25 years, conducted workshops in churches and camps, and developed curriculum for various children's ministry. She worked at Regal Road United Baptist Church and volunteered at children's camps. During that time, she petitioned for federal grants to hire five students workers from the Mount. Last year, Helen was chosen to be one of the workshop speakers at Assembly 2000. She examined the challenges and changes in ministering to children in her church and at home. The workshop was held at the World Trade and Convention Center in Halifax. This year, val valedictorian credits the Mount for giving her the confidence to speak to that group and look forward to speaking to this group of about 1,000 people today, including her classmates and guests. Congratulations, Helen. Kappa Gamma Pi. Membership in Kappa Gamma Pi, Honor Society of Catholic Universities for Women, is awarded to graduates who, in addition to high scholastic standing and a good record in extracurricular activities, gives promise to academic leadership in the future. I might add that one of our graduates today, Marie Jones, her mother, Marie Jones, who is a very active alum of the university and on the university's um, alumni board, uh, received a kappa 50 years ago to, um, at a convocation. So uh, I think she is relishing her daughter graduating today. The undergraduate award kappa goes to Jennifer Mathers, Bachelor of Education. Jennifer has realized in her academic and practicum work over the past two years the kind of reflective practice that is the goal of the Mount's Department of Education. She not only combined excellent knowledge of the curriculum, astute perception of the needs of students, the ability to examine critically educational issues, and skill in translating her knowledge into conscientious and caring teaching and quiet leadership among her fellow students. A student who herself delighted in learning she communicated that delight both to her classmates and to the children in her care. We know that Jennifer is going to be a leader in the teaching profession, and we look forward to hearing about her continued accomplishments. Congratulations, Jennifer. <laughs> the Graduate Award is given in absentia to Joyce Pugh, Master of Education. The Governor General's Medal. There is both an undergraduate and a graduate award. The graduate award is a gold medal donated by Her Excellency, the Governor General of Canada, and is given to a graduate student with the highest academic standing in the master's program. Carolyn Van Gerp. Carolyn graduated today with an MA research degree. This degree is the third Mount St. Vincent University degree Carolyn has completed in less than a decade. She graduated with distinction from the BED program in 93, completed a Master of Education in 98. Turning to teaching after her undergraduate degree and beginning a career in international development, 
Carolyn brings a rare and exemplary intellectual breadth and depth to her study of critical pedagogy and social justice in the primary curriculum. An avid learner, Carolyn's research on critical thinking in young children reveals her own pedagogical gift for inspiring serious inquiry and thoughtfulness in the very young. To paraphrase Chaucer's epigram on the scholar, gladly would she learn and gladly teach. Congratulations, Carolyn. <laughs> the President's Prizes. These special awards donated by the university president are awarded to the members of the graduating class whose energy, generosity, and commitment have enriched the university during their time as students and who show promise that their commitment will continue as alumni. There are two awards, and the first goes to Tanya Hudson. <laughs> Despite having additional preparatory work and battling a serious illness, Tanya persevered to become one of the most outstanding students in the BED program in recent years. She graduates with a BED specializing in secondary school mathematics. She was not only involved in academia, but in sports as well. Named the school's most valuable player for badminton, she was also given the prestigious Academic All-Canadian Award. Tanya was honored for her contribution to Canadians' college sports at the national level and for maintaining a high academic standing. In further recognition of her success, she was awarded the Moosehead Student Athletic Leadership Academic Award and the Harry Jerome Minerva Academic Scholarship. The scholarship was given for Tanya's outstanding academic achievement and because of her contribution to the black community. Since 1997, Tanya has held the position of coordinator of the Cultural Academic Enrichment Program at the Black Educators Association. She has carried out extensive research on black history, and as a member of the Black Theater Ensemble, she has presented educational material on black history to various schools and organizations. For both your own remarkable achievements and for serving as a role model for young African Nova Scotian women, in a field dominated by white males, secondary school mathematics, we congratulate you, Tanya. And the second award goes to Brenda Cormier, Master of Arts Research. <laughs> Brenda is graduating with an MA research in the early literacy program the Department of Education has constructed in partnership with the Halifax Regional School Board. Working in cooperation with her colleague, Carolyn Van Gerp, Brenda's thesis research centered on the development of critical literacy curriculum with grade four students. Her thesis is not only an exemplary scholarly examination of the challenges and possibilities of critical theory and practice, but also an invaluable professional development resource for educators. Known among her colleagues for her remarkable energy, impressive organization, and unstinting dedication to her own and others' professional growth, Brenda has, in the space of a relatively short career, already emerged as a leader in the field of literacy education. In addition to her full-time job as a highly innovative and intellectually restless teacher, Brenda has dedicated many hours to board in service in supporting struggling readers while simultaneously completing her graduate degree and raising four children of her own. Faculty who have admired Brenda's singular ability to squeeze a week's accomplishment out of 24 hours have not been surprised to learn that she is occasionally known to drive past her Porter's Lake School to arrive bewildered in Dartmouth or pour her morning coffee into the staff room sugar bowl. <laughs> Congratulations, Brenda.
Madam Chancellor. It is my pleasure and great honor to present the Honorable Madam Justice Louise Arbour for the degree of Doctor of Human Letters honoris causa. Victims are not abstractions, and crimes are not abstractions, even when they are so heinous the mind cannot accept them. So wrote our honored guest. It was with this understanding and empathy that Justice Arbour approached her remarkable legal career, one which placed her front and center on the international stage in 1996, when she was named the Chief Prosecutor of War Crimes before the International Criminal Tribunal for Rwanda and the former Yugoslavia in The Hague. For three years, this judge and former law professor doggedly pursued those who had committed war crimes against humanity. It was a deeply personal journey marked by contrasts and challenges which she met with dignity, humanity, and true grit. She witnessed the very worst and sometimes the best of humanity. She berated high-ranking officials and consoled bereaved war victims. In spite of personal loneliness, frustration, and at times revulsion with what she saw, she brought respect to her position, herself, and her country. In 1970, Louise Arbour received her law degree with distinction from the Université de Montréal. The following year, she was admitted to the Quebec Bar and hired as Mr. Justice Louis-Philippe Pigeon's law clerk at the Supreme Court of Canada. 28 years later, she would return to the halls of the highest court in the land, a respected jurist, noted for her fine legal mind and elegant legal writing. In the interim, Madame Arbour was called to the Ontario Bar, and in 1977, she joined Osgoode Hall Law School as the second tenured female faculty member. She lectured and published widely on criminal law and charter issues. Ten years later, in 1987, she was appointed to the Supreme Court of Ontario. While sitting on the Ontario Court of Appeal, to which she was elevated in 1995, Justice Arbour headed up a commission that investigated the troubling events at the Prison for Women in Kingston, Ontario. Subsequently, many of the commission's recommendations were realized. Her reputation as a knowledgeable, articulate, bilingual jurist who placed a high value on the rule of law and human rights gained her international recognition. So it was that Louise Arbour found herself on the way to The Hague in 1996. By her own admission, it was one of the most daunting jobs she had ever undertaken. Back in Canada, Canadians followed her endeavors with pride. And not surprisingly, in the fall of 1999, her appointment to the Supreme Court of Canada was widely commended. She became the fourth female justice to serve her country in that capacity. Over the years, Madame Arbour's contributions to the fields of criminal and human rights law have been recognized by her peers and citizens around the world. Last year alone, she received 11 honorary degrees, and I believe in this two-week period, she is receiving four. Recent awards include the Lord Reading Law Society Human Rights Award and the Medal of Honor from the International Association of Prosecutors. As stimulating as her work as a jurist has and continues to be, Louise Arbour would assure you that the most challenging and stimulating part of her life has been her role as the mother of three children. Une inspiration pour ses enfants et tous les Canadiens, je vous présente Madame la Justice Louise Arbour, mère, professeur, avocat, juge. 
une femme qui brille dans la conversation et qui aime la littérature. An inspiration to her children and to Canadians alike, I present Madame Justice Louise Arbour, mother, teacher, lawyer, judge, brilliant conversationalist, lover of literature, a woman noted for her wit, collegiality, dignity, inner strength, determination, compassion, and conviction. Madam Chancellor, I ask you in the name of the Senate of Mount St. Vincent University to confer on Louise Arbour, Judge of the Supreme Court of Canada, the degree of Doctor of Human Letters, honoris causa. 